Good day, Turbos. Today we're going to talk about how to install Turbonomics 7 into your Kubernetes cluster. I'm David Fiore, Senior Education Architect here at Turbonomic, and I will be uh, leading today's training. Uh, the goal of this lesson is to learn how to de deploy a new Turbonomics 7 instance into an existing Kubernetes cluster. Now, there are three ways one could deploy Turbonomic. One is um, SaaS. Uh, in this case, we would run and maintain Turbonomic in the cloud for you, and then you would connect your instance of Turbonomic to your data center. Uh, alternatively, you can consume our VM. So we've got a VM that contains a one-node Kubernetes cluster with uh, Turbonomic 7 running in the cluster. Uh, you can do that as well. Um, this is um, uh, in, this is the easiest in the sense that you don't have to have Kubernetes already running, but it is a, about a 20-30 minute install. The far, by far the easiest install is what I'm going to show you today, the YAML ins installation. In this case, you install Turbonomic into your existing Kubernetes cluster. Now this is easy because you've already done the hard work of building your Kubernetes cluster. Uh, the procedure is pretty simple, um, but the prerequisites are you have to have an existing Kubernetes cluster, uh, version 1.14 or higher. You have to have the kubectl command installed, and you have to have Internet Access, because we're gonna, going to be accessing Git. The procedure is quite simple. You create the operator, and uh, all the instructions for that are at github.com, turbonomic, thc, dash, install. Um, you'll go to the section on running in the local and remote clusters, create a namespace, run the kubectl create commands using YAML files, and that'll create what we call the operator. Then you create the XL instance, which is simply applying a YAML file at this point, and then connect to the service. You're going to be amazed how quickly we're going to be able to build this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to uh, that website there, GitHub, and that is in this window here. Let me just resize that a little bit. Okay. So, and I said you want to go to the section on uh, running in your own, running in local and remote clusters. There it is. And these are the commands. Now, uh, surprisingly enough, you can just copy the whole set right here. Command C. And I'm over here in my Kubernetes cluster. And I'm just going to paste it all. And there we go, we create a namespace, we're creating a bunch of uh, resources, and finally we're going to create the operator. Now you'll notice I got an error on one of them, that's because it's I've created uh, uh, the Helm chart that already exists there, so I didn't have to create it again, but that creates really quickly. Now you'll notice from the point where we started, uh, 10 o'clock, 8 minutes, 6 seconds, to the finish it was um, just another 11, uh, 11 seconds. Um, I'm sorry, nine seconds. Um, and if we do a kubectl n, uh, and the namespace here we create was turbonomic, get pods, our operator is already running. Now that part's really quick. The next part is to apply this other YAML file. Now I will say if you do that exactly as is, what you're going to get is um, I think 7.21, which is an older version. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to just first get the file. So I'm going to copy that, the URL and then say curl-kx get that file and I'll output it to, um, I'll just call it xl.yaml. Okay, then xl.yaml. And um, all I really have to do to get the latest release is just change the tag to the latest release, which is 7224. Now the other thing that we'll need to do is we'll need to enable whatever specific probes that we want. By default, all the probes are disabled. So let's say I was going to add just an AWS target into this instance, maybe AWS and AppD. Um, all I have to do then is uncomment uh, the two that I'm using. Um, so let's see, I'll do AppD. And there we go. So I've saved my file, and the, la and the command is kubectl apply that thing uh, into my namespace. So I can just say kubectl, my namespace is turbonomic, um, and then the file, I, uh, I'm going to say apply 
dash F in the file I just made, excel.yaml. Okay, so now it's created. Now what I'm going to do is um, foo cuddle and turbonomic get pods. And, and it's starting to build, right? We've got containers creating. Um, one of them is already, well, the operator was already running. Um, I'm just going to do a, a watch foo uh, cuddle dash n turbonomic get pods. This will just run the command every two seconds and we can watch it as it gets ready. So uh, we're still creating the topology processor container. Oh, now it's running. So now I've got everything running. Uh, Nginx is running. Um, now Kafka just got an error. What happens sometimes is certain, certain uh, containers, certain pods, in order to run properly, they need connection to something else. And, and you'll notice that most things aren't ready yet. So what's going to happen is as things uh, try to start up, they may find, well, the thing I need to connect to is not there. They, uh, they might go into a crash to back off. They might just try again. But eventually what we're going to see is everything is running. So what do we got now so far? We've got Arango DB is running. Console is running. Uh, DB is running. Uh, Nginx is running, that's our front-end web server. Our syslog is running, so once that gets up and running, then other pods start redirecting their logs to the syslog server. Our zookeeper is running. I believe that uh, is, a, is, a, is a pod that keeps track of all the other pods. Um, not exactly sure how it differs from the operator. The operator keeps the cluster uh, in what they call, it's a different definition of desired state. The idea is um, uh, there's a there's a, a definition of, of what this cluster should uh, contain. It should have an action orchestrator. It should have an API. It should have an Arango DB. All of those things compose an Excel instance. And the operator makes sure that those things are all there. And if it finds one not running, that's the thing that actually uh, restarts the the, the pod. Um, if we change versions, like uh, we just we just said, go run 7.22.4. Uh, if we change versions, what we'll do is we'll go back and edit that Excel file, change the tag to the new version that we want, and um, uh, uh, it'll it'll start destroying the existing containers and and build and and updating them to the to the new version as uh, um, because of the new definition. Uh, it, it keeps the cluster in what it calls a desired state. So anything new console is now running. Uh, let's see what else. Kafka's running. That's good. Um, topology operator is running, not yet ready. Um, so as we can see, everything is running. Um, that's good. And uh, in, you know, I find it takes about five or ten minutes at most uh, for things to get going. So I'm going to probably edit out a long pause here while we wait for everything to get started. But uh, we saw the timestamp at the beginning. and. Um, We'll see what the timestamp is when this thing is done. Um, I, I actually lost track of time, but as you, it took it, it got started a little while ago, less than 15 minutes ago. Um, that's how long all these pods have been have been running. Um, and then the next thing is you you get to the front page and it asks you to set an administrative log, login. Now, how did I get to that page? How did I figure out that this was where it is? Well, they're very simple. I did foo cuddle. And Turbonomic, that's our namespace, get service. And what you're looking for is the load balancer service, and that has a, a public name. So I just copy that name and paste that in. And away we go. So put in the new password. save it and then you apply a license and, and let's go um, let's see can I apply I, I think I'm gonna end it right here you guys know what to do from here you get your license file you say import license you drag it into here and then you go ahead and you add your targets that's that's pretty much it that's how you install Turbonomic 7 into an existing Kubernetes cluster I uh, hope you had fun watching this video uh, good luck have fun don't get hurt take care folks Bye-bye. You can watch this video as well as many others on our Turbonomic YouTube channel.
Simply search for the Turbonomic channel and choose the How To Videos playlist. You can also register for training and ACE certification courses on our Educational Services website at www.turbonomic.training. And if you have any questions or comments you'd like to provide, send us an email to certification at turbonomic.com. Thanks for watching.